why career centers of universities are usually not a good way to maximize your chances to end up in a leading consulting company. We have that discussion every single week. Uh, many people that are reaching out to us are or had their initial conversations about consulting with their career centers of their respective universities. And what we are realizing is that these people do have so many wrong presumptions about the process and what is important to show there and sometimes even come with cover letters and CVs uh, that they are telling us have been reshaped by the career service representatives, uh, sometimes in a session where feedback is provided verbally, sometimes um, even in written format. And then they are showing us that CV and uh, I can only shake my head and in pure disbelief, right? Because it's completely off. It's not concise. It's not um, quantified. It's it's not shaping the the most important experiences in the right way it's not telling a convincing story that uh, these companies would like to learn about and in a, in a nutshell it doesn't seem it has been touched or influenced by a person that knows what he or she is doing and that is exactly the case in your career centers because these representatives never have worked in an mbb and also are not are not aware of the characteristics and what it needs and takes to get into the process and end it up successfully. And this shows, this shows in the presumptions of the people they spoke to the career centers, this shows in the documents um, that have been influenced by the career centers. And this shows also um, what the career centers are doing in order to improve the chances of their respective students. Because what they're usually doing is they hire bigger companies that should fill that gap because the career centers are very aware of that fact too, by the way. Um, and then what's happening is, and what is the criteria they select these companies up on? It's usually input oriented and not output oriented, right? So instead of showing or learning about proven success rates of these companies that are then supporting their students, what they're looking for is how many workshops are giving them. Um, how big is the case library of uh, of them that our student would then later get access to? And um, how, how many hours will the uh, mostly, unfortunately, extremely junior MBB consultants um, or like ex-junior MBB consultants uh, will, be, will be there to uh, discuss specific case competitions and so on and so forth, right? Instead of brutally focusing on the output, usually they are then getting external help based on input. And all of this together is alarming right because if you want to end up your career in an mbb or like even start your career in your in an mbb um, make sure that you are looking for sources where you have a hundred percent security that what is told you what the feedback that has been given to you is indeed helpful in maximizing your chances and not just because an institution has a specific name or purpose um, it doesn't automatically um, trans transform the information and the services provided into helpful services for your objective. So be aware of that and then take a good decision who you take advice from and who you don't take advice from. All the best.